again, 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 again. Type it in the chat. Again, 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 again. If it's life giving, if it's serving your purpose, if it's going to transform you into something you never thought you could be, then do it again. Do it again. Type it in the chat. Drop it in the comments, man. Again, 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 again. This thing served me. This thing helped me. It hurt, but it's helping me. And it's building a bridge to the future and the destiny that I've been called to fulfill. Period. Every time you go back, you're building muscle. You're building mentality. You're building endurance. You're establishing faith. It takes faith to get out of this to crawl yourself out of a messy history and leave a legacy. It is the man that refuses to quit. It is the man that refuses to put down his gloves that separates winners from wannabes. It is diligence and dedication and determination that separates the all-time greats from the one-hit wonders. Do you want to do this thing one time or do you want to be notorious? for winning over and over and over again. I just want to know, is anybody listening that wants to do it again? I don't want to win one time. I don't want to be noticed one time. I don't want to make history one time. I want to do it over and over and over again. Do it again, no matter how hard it was, no matter how much you cried and you sweat and you bled, do it again. Again, 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 again. Your goals are posted on your wall. You commit privately and publicly to the call that's on your life. You think about it day and night. Whatever the goal is, it's time to shatter the ceiling above your head, to break records, to shatter the status quo, to punch through targets. It's your time. It's your turn. You've doubted yourself long enough. People have left you, overlooked you, undervalued you, underpaid you. It's your time to connect. It's your time to get paid. It's your time to sign the deal. It's your time. If you quit, go back, dust yourself off, and try one more time. Show me your habits and I will show you your future. It is what we do habitually. It is what we do every single day that determines the measure of significance that we get to live this life. Everybody wants to drive something, live somewhere, be connected. There are protocols that must be in place. There are actions that must be taken. Not just thoughts that you must think, but words that you must speak and actions that must be taken and coordinates to where it is that you are going. You are going somewhere. You are either going back or you are going forward. Everybody wants a comeback, but nobody wants a setback. You can't have a comeback without a setback. You are going to experience loss. You are going to have seasons in your life where you're not going to understand why and how you got where you are. Many of you have been the villain in your own story, and it's time to become the hero. The drama and the chaos, the narrative is about to change. The story is about to clear up. This is not a conversation about going back to everything that you left. There are some things, there are some people, there are some places that once we leave, we don't ever need to go back because we were tormented and we were haunted and we were abused and we were talked about and we were overlooked and undervalued and underpaid. The reason why you didn't win is because you gave up too soon. You took the exit too quickly. You were on the freeway to freedom. You were en route. You were following the instructions. You were following the coaching. You were listening to the video. Somebody drop it in the comments. I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. I'm staying the course. I'm focused, I'm dialed in. It's the man that stays on the freeway in the middle of a traffic jam and doesn't exit that reaches the point of destiny. Will you put in the work? Will you stay the course? Will you try it again? 
Are you willing to change perspective to see this thing differently? To get to the place of optimal performance and significance and fulfillment where every day you are looking for life. You have an expectation. You have a zeal. You're excited. You're ecstatic. You've got a bold anticipation for the future. With each day that is presented to you, you have an opportunity to change everything. Whatever it is, if it's life-giving, if it's going to impact someone else, if it's going to empower you to live a life of fulfillment and significance, then do it again. You may be in a courtroom, you may be in a cage, you may be on the basketball court, you may be on the football field, you may be down by 40 at halftime. It is the man that comes back round after round that may have taken a beating physically, but he is not broken mentally, that comes back round after round after round after round. And he goes back into the dark room and he puts the work and he comes back out into the light and he puts on a show, put on a show. I'm talking to every builder, every athlete, every professional, every stay at home mom, every father that puts in the work day and night to provide for his family. I don't know what your dream is. I don't see your vision, but if you write it down and you put the work in and you beat on your craft and you give it everything you have and you give yourself to your work, at some point, everything's going to begin to shift and change because you refuse to quit. This isn't just a conversation about trying again. This is a conversation about winning again. When we try something again and again and again, eventually, when we set a target and we begin to run towards it, no matter how many times we are beaten out, eventually, we run through the target. And so trying again becomes win again and I just came to tell somebody today that's listening to me that eventually you're not going to be the man or the woman the boy the girl that tries again eventually there is a warrior inside of you that will emerge there is a person that refuses to lose that will be birthed out of a setback and you are no longer the person who is known for coming back from a loss, but you are known for the person that wins again and again and again. No matter how many times I face this giant, I am surrounded by walls a hundred times taller than me. They gotta fall down because I have made winning a habit. Win again, punch through again. You gotta get out of this trying mentality. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna give it a try. I will. I will break out of the, I'm going to try. I'll try to smile. I'll try to be happy. I'll try to make it a good day. I will smile. I will make it a good day. I will win again. I will bring my A game again. I will give it everything I have again. This mentality, this approach to living is what builds the bridges to the future. This is how we cement our legacy. He is a man, she is a woman that was born to shock the world.